The prosecutor's office of the autonomy started criminal proceedings on all the facts mentioned in the draft resolution regarding the state of human rights in the occupied Crimea. The first message concerning the misappropriation of property on the annexed peninsula is ready to be sent to the International Criminal Court. This was stated by the prosecutor of the Autonomous Republic of Crimea Gundas Mamadov, its press service reports. Violation of human rights, forced displacement, illegal alienation of private property, illegal establishment by Russia of its laws on the territory of Crimea, declaring the malice of the Crimean Tatar people an extremist organization and prohibiting its activities, restricting the right to education in Ukrainian and Crimean Tatar languages, prohibition of individual cultural and religious institutions, human rights organizations and the media and unlawful detention and verdicts, criminal cases were opened on all these facts, it was reported. In spite of the impossibility to carry out investigative actions directly on the peninsula's territory, law enforcement agencies of the Crimea are actively conducting an investigation, collecting evidence, also for further transfer for consideration in international judicial institutions. Mamadov noted. He added that the first information regarding the misappropriation of property in the temporarily occupied territory of the Crimean Peninsula, which the prosecutor's office prepared jointly with non-governmental human rights organizations, is ready to be directed to the International Criminal Court. Mamadov expects that the UN General Assembly during its plenary meeting in December will support the resolution on Crimea, forcing the Russian Federation to fulfill its obligations. Approval of the draft resolution by the UN General Assembly Committee once again proves to the world the fact of Peninsula's occupation by Russian Federation and is a confident step towards its deoccupation. And I hope that at the plenary meeting of the General Assembly in December, we will receive a positive decision and, as a result, forcing Russia to fulfill the resolution, stressed Crimean prosecutor. As it was reported earlier the Third Committee of the UN General Assembly supported the draft resolution on human rights in the Russian-occupied Crimea. Ukraine's permanent office in the UN reported this on Tuesday evening. The bill claims rude violations of human rights on the Russian annexed peninsula. 71 countries voted for the updated document with Ukraine's amendments submitted to it. Another 77 states abstained, while North Korea, Belarus, Venezuela and several more countries voted against the bill. President Petro Poroshenko welcomed the recent decision of the Third Committee of UN General Assembly, as the authority approved the updated draft resolution on human rights in Crimea. The leader of the Ukrainian state posted this on his Facebook page. Poroshenko also expressed confidence that the UN General Assembly will also support the document during their upcoming session in December. I'm sure that the efforts to restore Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity will be successful, he concluded. If you find an error, highlight the desired text and press control enter to tell about it.